Hello, this is uh, the episode 9 of the F1D Vlog. Today I'm going to show you how, to, how I make tail booms. Uh, it's the first actual building episode. Um, these are a jig that I sell for cutting these uh, for the Ray Harlan tail boom. Uh, basically it's a perfect taper, perfectly sized for the Harlan tail boom, and it's made for approximately 9 thousandths thick wood. Um, it's worked for every size I've tried. If I've tried 10 or 11 thousandths, it's worked fine. It's just been slightly uh, tighter on a um, stub if needed. So when you're putting this, the tail boom on top of a stub in that kind of like Chinese finger lock sort of thing, it just might move on further if it's a thinner wood uh, than not quite as far if it's a thicker wood. So that's how, how these things work. Anyway, you just lay a piece of wood down. Uh, this is uh, a cutting mat I have, and I just lay it right on top of the wood, just like this. And this is best if you have two sets of hands. So I have enlisted the help of my son Raymond. Say hello, Raymond. Hello. And let me put on my cheaters again. Literally, we just put this uh, on top and press it down as hard as you can, and just run a razor blade right along the edge. And I think I somehow came off of there a little bit, so I'm going to just run it again right there. And then we'll move that off to the side. We'll uh, move over to the other side with our other hands. And please put that in a way so I don't touch your finger or cut off the end of your finger. I think that moves slightly. Hold on. Pick it up for just a second. Pick it up for just a second. Okay. Right back down. Okay, perfect. Just press it down. And again, I will just put this uh, right along the edge here, all the way down. And voila, we have one piece of tailbone wood that's already cut. I'm going to cut off the ends on both, both ends here. And I'm not really sure how well the video is going to show it, but it has these little small holes uh, in it. The reason for this is this is where I put the boron. This uh, There's three holes in it, and this would uh, allow it to be spaced at 120 degrees. So I just use my little Pixma pen to uh, put hole, put the uh, marks on it, and it'll show you exactly where you should be uh, starting your boron on the end and hopefully that's visible okay so there is one piece of tail boom wood that has been cut the next thing uh, i will do with this is grab the tail boom and start uh, getting this wet i'll soak it for a little bit in some water um, i will put it onto uh, the table with a little bit of silk span and then i will roll it up with the uh, tail boom form uh, that's what's coming next stay tuned all right, so the next step for this is to create something to uh, roll the tail boom form in. And this is a, a bit of silk span. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mark it out about three and a half times. So there's one, two, and on the other side, two, so now three, and on this side, three, and we'll do half, which is about here. And on this side, half is gonna be about here. So what we need to do here next is grab this nice long piece of metal and I'll just kind of mark it on either end so it's close. Grab a razor blade. I'm just gonna make a cut right there. So I have a piece of silk span which is tapered like so and can be used for rolling up the tail boom. So the next step of doing a tail boom is to get a little container with water in it. Um, don't have anything quite large enough to do this, so I just kind of do the whole thing at once. So I just sort of do this, 
put it inside the water, kind of just put water on top of it and get as much of it underwater as I can. This wood being so thin it really doesn't take more than a minute or two of uh, being wet to kind of soak through completely. This actually is going to be okay but I'll leave it a little bit longer in there just so you can see how long it takes to go. So here we go there. Next part is actually the piece of silk span. You just get one side of it really wet. Uh, it doesn't really require both sides to be. Um, but you just get one side really nice and wet. Move this side of the way and I can put it onto the table. The table it will pretty much disappear immediately as soon as I put it on the table. I will get one edge of it wet. So what I need to do now is start with rolling it up. So this part will be a little bit hard to see, um, but basically the bit of silk span I put down here, you have to have it just slightly wet, just wet enough to kind of attach to here. You can always add a little bit more if you need it, um, a little bit more water to it to get it to sit okay. Then the next part is you get your piece of wood. I like to kind of just put it through my fingers like that to kind of squeegee most of the water out of it. Next I will lay it down right next to the tail boom form and as straight as I possibly can nearby it. And one of the things you'll, you'll notice when you set it down and you roll it here, you can look straight down the line and you can see how far out of shape or if it's bent or twisted or whatever. You can figure that out very quickly by looking at it. So if you run in a situation where it's bad, you can just kind of pick it up and redo it slightly, which is what I'm going to do here. It's a little bit odd in the way that it was laying. Okay, so that one looks pretty straight. Now when I'm looking at this end, and I'm looking at this end, I'm seeing that it's not quite aligned, so I can hold one side and then push just on here, and it will slide slightly through the uh, tissue. And now as I'm looking down the entire line, it is as straight as I'm going to be able to get it, so we'll just go ahead and roll it at that point. I should be able to roll it all the way through. That's three and a half times, so it should be just fine. Now it can sit there just like this for a little bit, uh, but you don't want it to be uh, that loose or you know sitting there for that long. Uh, you're going to want to tape it uh, very quickly. And so that's the next step. Here I've got a little bit, uh, this is just general uh, wide masking tape. This is all I really have at the moment. Normally I would use a thinner blue painter's tape. This is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. I'll just cut up a few pieces of this. And when I do it, basically I'll just put it up here and I'll kind of fold it over and touch it on the other side. You just keep doing that with the tape. Just make this one a little bit thinner. And go so on and so on.
So now this particular thing, when I'm done with it, this, this entire tail boom form, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to stick it onto my radiator and let it sit on the radiator overnight and it'll be done tomorrow. You can bake it. Uh, I would recommend if you do something around 150, 160 degrees, not much higher than that. Um, I think that's all you really need to worry about. I uh, hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.